Hello everybody, welcome to turn one, we've already started, we've got Artemis Black with Undead um, versus Core with Skaven, oh my god he's got a stab, got to run and that's hilarious, um, yeah so that's a very swift intro, yeah unfortunately they started this and then told me they'd started, <laughs> which uh, wasn't ideal as you can imagine. Um, is is Elliot here? I am here. <laughs> that might be the best thing ever. Who knows? Um, okay, let's leave them red and blue. So this is a two-point skill package for both. They've both got the extra skill package, which means three guard and a uh, couple of wrestle and a block and tackle for art. And... Uh, Basically the same as Olivier Deluxe, right? Um, a block, a wrestle, a strip, a sidestep gutter, a leader, thrower, a juggernaut, roger, but then um, he's got two guards rather than like a guard and a mighty blow or whatever. Uphilling, I quite like uphilling mummies. Stops you getting knocked over by a mighty blow, doesn't it? So, uh, that's pretty good. Right, so off the LOS, Art removed somebody. And this looks like sunlight or heat, isn't it? One of the two. Heat. So there's 13 players for KFOG and 13 for Art. Six and two threes, who it affects, I guess. Is he going to GFI hit the uh, Roger? I guess he will. Not even a GFI fail. And a POW. Outrageous. And an AV break. And a removal. Artemis the Looker Dog. Luckiest man in Blood Bowl. Oh wow. Kfog with the apple. Interesting. Like he does need him for the one turn as well, doesn't he? So that makes him maybe come back. But of course he might just get removed again, so. He might just lie him down now, but but Art can still foul him, right? So Interesting. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Lucker noob sheep sympathizer. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Frosty. Staying fantastic for uh It's gone off it's gone off my stream here, but for you know Oh no, it's on there. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Glorious month, nearly five whole years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Through the good times and the bad. <laughs> it is indeed. Thank you very much. It's mad, isn't it? It's flipping mad. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering what the table looks like, you'd think um, Artemis and Kfog would be a battle of the top of the league, but actually, <laughs> Art's lost all three and Kfog's lost two. So, um, unbelievable. This was their week three match that um, didn't get played due to Cor being away at Euro Bowl and stuff. So finally catching up. <laughs> that's that's fair enough, yeah. I mean mostly thin. <laughs> hey, hey. 
<laughs> Hello, Walton. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Football. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a very, there's a very thin line between friendly banter and people getting pissed off. <laughs> I used to know a Liverpool fan, and uh, we were, we we got on quite well and would joke about things, but that we do not let this slip was <laughs> was a bridge too far. <laughs> Blitzing with me. It was so good, yeah. It's like my favourite. It's my favourite sporting event. <laughs> yeah. It could be seen as mean, but it was just so funny to me. So K Fox trying to create some pressure, but that's just beating him off. I mean, got a lot of experience at that, hasn't he? Sorry. Oh, Buxter. And Tulian. And Ali Raider. And Woltown. Might have already said Woltown. Tottenham. <laughs> Do you know the, the best sporting people of all are... Um, are Jets fans because <laughs> the Jets are just sad. <laughs> at least, like you know, at least like you know, other teams are comedically bad and stuff, you know, and like what's it called, the Cleveland Browns and stuff, right? Things like that are just like comically bad, but the Jets are just fucking pathetic. <laughs> Oh, he does the foul. Gets the cars. Oh, my God. And that is why you maybe shouldn't Apple KOs. Because the foul comes in to assist the following turn. And Kaz's him. And the Apple is completely wasted. And I know that's not really the reason why you shouldn't. And it's not that you shouldn't. But it's a big danger, isn't it? Is when you Apple a guy like that who's KO'd, they're just going to get fouled. Um... Yeah, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, 83 is just the... 83, you know, it's... it's. I think... I, th I, see, I think <laughs> Ali Red is like... <laughs> you're the 83rd one. <laughs> oh, it was... Uh, it was Wotan Clan. That was it. I thought you were like thinking he was the Wotan the 83rd rather than born in 83, which is the obvious conclusion to draw as they're in a Blood Bowl stream. But a uh, very good Wotan Clan, yeah. And says, normal fucking dice, yeah, that's over the moon, isn't he? You know, he's, he's fouled something and it was cast. Completely normal dice. <gasps> Nothing to see here. <laughs> exactly what was expected. <laughs> Coming in for the 3D, glorious. This gets another foul as well, doesn't it? He gets to foul the... Oh my god. Another removal. Another a 3DB here on this. And another foul on the other gutter. This is... Uh, Rerolls this. Oh, that takes away his assists. And only vaguely keeps him in a more dangerous spot. <laughs> yeah, the Jets are like tragic. <laughs> Tragically bad, the Jets. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Carl Steve. I've got a Jets tight end as well, unfortunately. <laughs> the only time, the only time Rogers threw to him was when he was double covered. <laughs> Diced again. So close to a touchdown. <laughs> Rogers. Is he hated? Is he in America for all of the uh, all of the COVID stuff? It's weird in it being English. You don't really uh, get the like the gist of what it's like there, do you? Depends who you are. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh my God! Three D uphill. Oh my God! Art. Is about to tear his hair out if this if this reroll comes good. Oh, he doesn't reroll it. Okay, he's just leaving him for the long term. I can't help but feel like cancelling one was worth it. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would have been double GFI, but it, it makes it so much better, right? Like the uphill is. Uh... Oh yeah, I could have just stabbed him. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe he meant to stab you. Yeah. yeah, good point. He'd have meant to stab you, yeah, of course he did. Yeah, 3D uphill's mental. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could just hear him now, like, going, What the fuck? <laughs> City game. <laughs> yeah, of course he was trying to stab him. Oh, no. Poor K-Fog. Done in by the UI again. 3D in with 3D. I'm sure that will be complaining about the dice. <laughs> Can't even pal. He's got to run it. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll ignore the all the removals and the cars and the UI error. <laughs> Normal dice. Oh my god, what a massacre. What an absolute massacre. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't go in for the extra foul on the gutter there. In a way, the good players getting cut, KO'd isn't so bad because they can't suffer from the heat, but it's not like it used to be where, you know, you roll the 2 plus, then, it'd be, then it's a lot better to be KO'd, isn't it? Now it's just player quality is the only thing with the KO's. Rogers. Rogers. Should have done a 3D, the Rossler. He might, might, might just tackle Blitz though, he might just tackle Blitz rather than any Blitz. It is turn 6, he's remembered to get forward. Well done. Oh, he might put in the mummy there, right, to be the corner. No. Oh. oh, so it's just like full, full Wenger bus. Three D. No, he's going to clear that. We're just concentrating on a very safe cage. Well, they're driving the wrong way, aren't they? They're just driving sideways. It's like they've parked the bus. That's what they've done. It's a parked Wenger bus. Oh, 
How's the tackler? I mean, I thought protecting the tackler was better than not. <laughs> Can 3D with a mummy though, can't you? A 3D, a cheeky little 3D with the mummy. Oh, I hate that. From Artemis of all people as well. Artemis of all people you would have thought would have put a... Uh, Google here, right, in case it was triple both down into triple both down. One in, what, 4,000? No, wait. <laughs> what? What is it? I don't even know what it is. Is it like I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm gonna Google it and then I won't have to work it out. Seven two nine. I thought it was about seven, but I wasn't confident. I wasn't confident. I've, I, honestly, I thought seven, and then I thought, oh, I'm not confident. <laughs> Dimmy was right all along. One in seven two nine, and he'd have been fucked, wouldn't he? And yes, he gets better payoff now. But um, I would have thought of all people that Art wouldn't have uh, taken the chance. Vegas chance, isn't there, of the wrestle hit? 3 3 2 for an uphill. It's not even that ridiculous. I guess uh, this is. Did he have the movement? I mean, this would have been better, wouldn't he, have a full X cage? This really is just 2 3 3 2 for an uphill, and it puts him out that way as well. This is going to annoy Artemis if it works. <laughs> not even that low odds. Ah, well, he's not going to re-roll it, though, because he's got the one turn. <laughs> got a 3D. Does he do with a mummy for Mighty Blow? Probably. Probably does. Doesn't. Wow. Pussy. <laughs> Hello to Joy. Yep, uh, rats are getting punched, not liking it, as Skytruck says. Yep. Well, he does get the knockdown because of blow. So, you know, but doesn't do anything because not mighty blow. So, that was fantastic, wasn't it? That was both sides. Both sides of the equation. He got the knockdown because block, but then didn't get the KO because not mighty blow. Super interesting. Yeah, well, that's the question. Will he have the one turn? Maybe not. No, no, Roger. Loads of KOs. Heat. He might not even have the one turn. Maybe he should have re-rolled that dodge. Oh, <laughs> Art's so lucky. If he doesn't get, if he doesn't concede this one turn. Art is incredibly lucky. <laughs> and, uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven, and he's got sidesteps, so. Yeah. <laughs> Swathering heat! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Keith needs. <laughs> Keith needs that, like, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. 
they got enough players. Seven players is enough, isn't it? Especially with sidestep. It's probably like four players with sidestep. So, um, the one turn is most definitely on. Most death. A completely normal, easy one turn would be totally unimpressive if it works. <laughs> <laughs> no guard though the problem here facing out is the longer he he thinks to set up like you know is this a good defense is the longer k fog has got to think of the perfect offense to score against it This doesn't seem too easy, but it probably is to Big Kev. Sidestep really helps, doesn't it? No mummies, yeah, but I mean, having the mummies guaranteed for the second half is massive, isn't it? So, like, if he doesn't concede the one turn, this is an incredible three for him. Absolutely incredible for Art. Incredible if he doesn't concede the one turn. Even if he does, it's still incredible that he's got them for guaranteed. I guess unless the weather changes. And the guard out for uh, K-Fog is great for Art as well. Looks like we're using the whole method. No, we're not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, is he going to block this guy and then blitz this one and then sidestep to there? That's probably the best, isn't it? You punch him and then you blitz this guy into there and then block him. Uh, yeah, this is pretty easy. Pretty easy. Ah, so it blocks. Uh, no, I don't. I think it's better to have this guy, right? And then you block and because you need to follow to tag this. So this guy in the line as well. Block him, follow, blitz him into there, and then you want somebody there as well. Yeah. Yes. Then. Uh, so then the thrower could fill that square or somebody else. Yeah. This. This is right, isn't it? This guy can fill that right. So this guy blocks, this guy blitzes, and then that puts the guy there. So then this guy fills that, and then this guy blocks it. The second one forward, and then maybe you could th then he, then he's got then he's got that folds. Yeah, so that's why he's just put this guy in. So this guy can then do the last hit and get in forward. And only has to make one dodge now, and he gets blitzed on. Wow. Absolute dicing. That was not that was not a great setup, I think, from Art, because he could have got completely clear. Um, but <laughs> but doesn't matter. He got a blitz. <laughs> he got a blitz, so he gets to tackle blitz the fucking sidestepper. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't do it now. Um, Kfog, Kfog is number one. <laughs> no offense, Olivier, but uh, Kfog is number one. And uh, as to number two, I've seen Elliot do things, but Elliot does play a lot of Underworld, so 
he just <laughs> he just he minimalizes his own achievements and just says, Well, underworlds are OP, aren't they? Or snotlings are OP, but I really like Eli Eliot's one turn. But it's amazing, you'd think people would be better at it than they are, right? Like I remember the season two finals, it was kind of wild how not good at one turning people were. As you'd expect. Like really there's no reason for anybody to be worse than KFOG at one turning, is there? Do you know what I mean? Like there really is no reason for for like for any well, certainly not a top tier player. For anybody to be worse than KFOG yet. Most are. Or everyone is, depending on your point of view. <laughs> but at least most are worse. That was very disappointing, isn't it? I wonder if he's thinking. I now he might. I I don't think even Kfor can figure this out. I think this is absolutely fucked. Just trying to maximise blocks is surely. But then they're just against zombies anyway. So try and hit the tackler if you can. Maybe. Exactly, Ali Rida, that's what I was going, that's what I was going with. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get to with the alien. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, everyone can be worse at Cave Fog at Blood Bowl, but nobody should be, like, everybody could be as good at one turning, right? Like, so now, whether people would put the work in, if the rest of their game isn't as good as, you know, is significantly worse than KFOGs, then fair enough. But um, all of the top players, I feel, it just should be as good as KFOG, right? It's like the one thing that you can just learn that is correct or incorrect, do you know what I mean? Like, whereas everything else is like, oh, well, you know, you've got to balance, you've got to balance penetration and uh, protection, and you've got to balance cover and pressure and stuff, and like, you, you know your own play styles and tendencies and all this kind of stuff but uh when it's one turning it's just there's a good way of doing it isn't there there's a right way of doing it there really is optimal ways to one turn and and it's wild that no one seems to have put in the effort that kfog has when you think look how many people went to euro ball right like loads of people did didn't they? loads of people went to euro ball in the world cup and how many of those could k could one turn as well as kfog maybe two or three but um, and that's an that's an if as well. <laughs> you know, we we see we have seen obviously good one turns from Strider and Olivier in this, but um, you know, <laughs> yeah, there you go, Joe. Yeah, aggressive, very aggressive. Um. I don't know what big Kev strat is to just get behind him here and then hope something happens on defense. Yeah, he didn't get his Roger, but I'm glad that Roger continues to be the absolute worst. Not even just the worst big guy, just the worst player in the Blood Bowl Super League. Absolutely atrocious. Honestly, probably a mistake by Artemis to foul it, right? Keep that guy on the pitch and uh, should be good. So yeah, it was a very aggressive setup from Art, which will let Kefo get behind him. Scoring two. And lose 2-1. Probably. I mean, chances are that's what's going to happen, isn't it? Uh, he's been... He hasn't even been banged out that much now with the, the chaos. It's just the rogue, isn't it, and the heat. Do you know what? I seem to be more averse to sideline cages than uh, Dave Owen K Fog, which maybe I shouldn't be. If you ever find yourself doing something different, uh, you'll probably reconsider it. Eh? Maybe I'm too afraid of the one turn cages, the one turn the sideline cages. But then, of course, Diamond lost to Sea Ross because the sideline cage, so who knows?
So we've got two options, Eddie. He could tackle this guy. Or he could tackle this guy. It's obviously better to knock over the gutter. But it's better to have the tackler in front. So I think he'd probably just go and try and put the tackler in front. No? Interesting. Interesting. I thought he'd have put the tackler in front. Oh, is he going to double GFI the mummy? He could, couldn't he? Ah, oh, pussy. Honestly, the double GFI mummy is great, isn't it? That's actually pretty great. I really like the double GFI mummy. Now it's just going to be... Dodges GFIs, no, just a block. So maybe some GFIs to get the ghouls round in the front. I mean, he is okay with a quick score, but the problem with that is, um, oh wait, this this zombie can double GFI and then foul as well. The problem is it can still go wrong, right? If 1-1, one, one, like, you'll, be, you'll still be very confident at 1-1 one, one here, receiving next turn. But it can still just, like, the dice can go wrong, can't they? So I'd rather not have that chance, you know? Still preferable just to shut down the score, isn't it? No, he doesn't make the second GFI. Honestly, the, se the second GFI in fouling the gutter was pretty decent. I did the GFI there. Like that's the thing. Like, you know, you're always, you're like I, I've always said. If I could start off one nil down, receiving on turn two every single game, I would. <laughs> but it's still better to, have, you know, his gutter to roll a double one, and not score, than you just you know two nil him, right? So. Cheeky, cheeky cars. Never lucky. This guy stays out, and we've got lost a garter and a stripper, and that has lost a mummy and. Uh, a white, the tackle white, and a wrestle ghoul. <laughs> Will he be tamping, raging, fuming? Maybe. Yeah, the rogue is staying out. Is super unlucky. Eight players versus nine. He should carry in a zombie. Yeah, he's still got two. Still got two ghouls, hasn't he? So it's not terrible. <laughs> yep, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, I think that's why I would have gone for the tackle blitz. Oh, well, I mean, he did tackle blitz. I think that's why I would like try to blitz the blitzer. Oh, my God. Never, honestly, it probably shouldn't have fouled the roger. If he, if if Art hadn't killed that roger, it might have killed three of K Fog's players by now, mightn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Do you uh, do you blitz this guy so that this one can move over? Probably right. 
This zombie blitzes him. That's what I would have done. I would have blitzed this guy with him, and then this guy would have been there, and then this guy would have come over. He can still come over if he rolls the pow, can't he? And go one, two, three, four. He can move the ghoul there first, and then if he gets the pow, he can stand where the ghoul is there and have a completely, a perfectly cromulent scream. Goes with the pickup first with a weak screen. Has to re-roll. Fails. And, you know, Art chose to have a weak screen there. He really did. I absolutely valued getting this zombie over. Oh, wow. Okay, Fog. I'm not even sure that's really good. Oh, he's going for the scatter, that's why. I guess he is going for the scatter, yeah, that's why he's in there, okay. Well, interesting. I kind of preferred... Oh, he's not going for the scatter. I prefer making a gaping hole, then. I don't understand, if you're not going to go for the scatter, why not just make a gaping hole? I really, I preferred the gaping hole. I do like a gaping hole. <laughs> No, yeah, I get that, but I mean, you, you don't have to win this turn, do you? You don't have to win this turn. Like, cutting him in half there and stuff, and dropping the guy in the ball was all pretty good. Yeah, I preferred, I preferred a gaping hole. But I guess now he's going to re-roll the pickup, because it's only a three. He does and fails. <laughs> I love lamp. Interesting, isn't it? It is interesting. Yes, yeah, successfully failed here. Yeah. Yep, you do want to pick up, but I feel like they had decent control there, right? Because there's the gaping hole, they could swarm through. They only need it for one turn and then score next turn, whereas this was get away this turn. And uh, this was like trying to get away this turn and, and then, you know, like basically potato this turn and maybe get caught next turn. Whereas. I would have liked the swarm them and then score this turn. Like the next turn. Like swarm them this turn, score next turn. Whereas this was try to get away with this turn. I don't know. I mean, K Fog's probably played more rats than me. And, uh. You know, if Chunter wants to pick it up, maybe they should. What's also interesting is, as well, is that Art Miss is good at Blood Bowl. So. I don't know how that factors in to the decision making process. Oh wow, last reroll gone. Gets the pow. Gets the dodge off. Fails the pickup. Oh. Yeah, maybe more dready. Maybe the maybe the white maybe the white should have blitzed, right? Got got over to protect the ball. I don't know if it, even the white could have blitzed. Maybe the white should have blitzed. Like I was thinking, blitz with his zombie after he'd already made the blocks, but maybe even before he blocked with him, he should have blitzed with the white to get the white over. Well, flip me. There's a removal. Now he gets a turn of stall out of this. At least one turn of stall. 
pretty good pitch control now. Conceded. There you go. Right. Well. <laughs> there you go. Comedy mega dicing. Um, a roll didn't go out in Mrs. Way, so that's it. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that might be out done with uh, Super League. Wait, Sol's playing Hiru now. Wait, what? When did they start? Oh, they're on turn five. Okay, I'll, I'll quit this, sorry. Um, I didn't know when they started. They, they must have just scheduled it right now. Anyway, so um, let's try to get back to that. I thought something had gone wrong then. <laughs> Sneaky rat bastard. Um, I pressed the wrong thing. I was trying to get the replay to show, like, you know, the match at the end of the screen. End of the game, but there you go, another concede for her. Um, which um, makes it kind of possible for KFO to do something now if he wins his last two games. Um, but there you go. Um, yeah, it was a nice 2 1 grind. And now, there you go, look, that's exactly why I would have tried to blitz that guy and tried to uh, try to stop it as much as, as much as I've said I'd start every game. 1-0 down, receiving on turn 2. Um, yeah, when you've got the option for... You know, when you've got the chance of better than that, I would have still gone for it versus... Um, Big Kev. So there you go. Um, right, anyway. That's that game. Congratulations, Kev. Commiserations, Artemis. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.